homes also lost to floodwaters. And tonight, just over 1,000 people in Vermont have reached out to FEMA for rental and homeowners assistance. New at 6, Adam Sullivan introduces us to a family picking up the pieces in Bridgewater Corners. It's been two weeks since floodwaters ravaged the region, but those directly impacted by the flooding continue to pick up the pieces. We knew it was bad. Casey Misspell and her family were camping in Maine when the floods hit Vermont. And so my husband and dad tried to drive home that night. They got to about the Lincoln Cover Bridge and they couldn't get any further. A family friend took this video of their property during the height of the storm. A nearby culvert backfield causing water to swamp everything, including chest high water in the house. It had lifted up all of our flooring and a lot of our stuff and just thrown it all over the house. It was trashed inside of there. Their camper is now their permanent residence. Four other vehicles on site were wrecked, along with pretty much everything else. The family's homeowner's insurance did not include flooding, so they are waiting on that denial letter to present to FEMA for federal help. Because we had to wait so long, if there was a chance of saving the home, we're past that window now. Everything is molded, everything is falling in, the floors are falling. Tropical Storm Irene damaged the property more than a decade ago. They got through it then, and they say they will get through it now. We have our moments where sometimes we're just really sad and we cry a lot, and other times we're angry, and you know, we just are working through it the best we can. And the misspells say they are grateful for the community support they have received in the form of donations and things like new clothes. Reporting from Bridgewater Corners, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News. The state has set up an online resource for anyone impacted by flooding. It's vermont.gov flood. You can find that link online at WCAX.com.